ankopolot 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 ngo two fingers until go ze guti shik. Hello my sugar binga bungas, welcome back to my channel. Hello, I come back. Now if it's your very first time here, please be sure to click on that subscribe button. Also, do not skip the ads. I promise you it is worth it. You will love it here. Now during my previous story time, I highlighted the importance of women taking care of themselves i'm all for liking or loving the finer things in life i'm all for having fun exploring the world exploring your sexuality your sensuality and 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 i'm all about freedom in every sense but you need to be careful ladies unfortunately the world is not set up in a favorable manner particularly for us because sometimes you spend time with a group of people of the opposite sex you get a few drinks in and they start to feel like they own you they feel entitled to your body so please be extra careful, be super vigilant, respect yourself. Nobody is going to put you first if you don't put yourself first. Nobody loves you the way you love yourself. Remember that at all times. You may have a group of fabulous girlfriends whom you love and whom you see as your sisters, but chances are you are not their sister to them. And they could sell you to any man that comes along for a mere penny. But also take responsibility for your actions. In some cases, not all, and certainly not most, because the scariest, most outrageous, most shocking things happen when we least expect them to and where we least expect them to and that's exactly what this story time will be about but also in some cases we do put ourselves in vulnerable positions where our lives end up being in danger so please guys i cannot stress this enough take accountability for your actions be careful read the room energy does not lie trust your gut take note of all those red flags because in the end they are the ones that are magnified and you see what's ish ish all the signs were there had i taken this red flag seriously from the get-go i could have avoided a b c and d and i could have prevented x y z from happening fellas and this is not to bash all of you because you know I love you. You know I stand up for you. Many females have given up on men, but I'm always rooting for you. I'm always putting in a good word for you, saying that there are good men out there and there are bad men who have the potential to change and become good men because i believe in you i've seen it happen but also i have had the privilege and the honor of crossing paths with amazing men unreal men to a point where you're just like are you a human being are you a man because all i've been taught is that you're out to get me and everybody else who looks like me you're out to hurt me and break me so why are you so amazing why are you so different they exist good men exist but guys some of you ruin it for everybody else hence you hear a lot of men saying not all of us when men are trash is being chanted it is a fact not all of you are trash and if it doesn't apply to you then pumaguyo for example if anybody calls me promiscuous if umutangizang is verb we're talking to the trash ones so if it doesn't apply to you then pumaguyo relax yourself focus on being the best version of yourself but if the shoe fits wear it and if sigma pincha do something about it if you're so bothered by that men are trash hashtag then do something about it reach out to your brothers appeal to them talk to them let them know baboni say let them know that guys 
we are leading each other astray what we're doing is not on let's change it let's be better beings that's it that's all oftentimes men say women are gold diggers i'm not touched i'm a boss i have my own i could never be that even if i wanted to it's not in my blood it is not in my system even if i were to try tap into it every part of me every fiber of my being would be like zanente what are you doing this isn't you you're a boss naturally ultimately i'm for all people i just want everybody to win so we need to take care of each other but most importantly we need to take care of ourselves because things are crazy out here people are crazy out here and it's not just men because there are women who can't take no for an answer there are women who are very creepy and who force themselves down the throats of other men and women there are women who can't take rejection maturely and there are women who let their curiosity take over to a point where they overstep boundaries and that's exactly what the story time is about so i had been experiencing sharp back pains for quite some time so i decided let me go get a massage a back massage i had never gotten a full body massage until that day by default also let me break it down for you you ready so one slimana day I went to a hot spring resort I explored and enjoyed all their facilities all their goods and services I had the time of my life and an hour before it was time for me to bounce I decided let me get that back massage so I head on over to the masseuse and I let her know that I had been experiencing sharp back pains and she's like oh worry not I've got you. I'll give you the best back massage ever. And I'm like, "Oh, hi girl." All right. So I get ready. She prepares everything and I lay there. So just before we start, she makes a phone call. She calls her boss and she says in Chinese, "Boss, there's a foreigner here. How much should I charge her?" Mind you, the boss is on loud speaker. In Chinese, he asks, "What does she want to get done?" She says, "Oh, nothing much." She says she just wants a back massage, nothing else. He says, "Oh, a back massage is a hundred bucks, but charge her two hundred bucks for it." Gilalel, <laughs> they've assumed Uguti. I don't know Chinese. Kanta babu zangi langin lomzulu lo uyas funda izilim zabanya bantu. This Zulu girl right here is very open-minded. She learns about other people's cultures, their languages, this, that, and the third. You can't fool me. Gandhi, you're playing yourself. So she says, "I boss, got you. I will do exactly that." She comes back to me and she tells me, "My back massage will cost me 200 bucks." I say, "Okay." No problem. Nice and cheap. <laughs> She says, "Oh, all right." I love it. I love it. <laughs> so she starts massaging me. Gamnandi, gamnandi ganjan. Girlik siling, is it busy? But I'm also thinking about how these people are planning to scam me, and I'm just like, "Hey, la ba bangas, yas bangas, kanta bas guts minang yas guts abas." So she's busy massaging my shoulders, gamnandi, in a very soothing manner, right? And then she slowly but surely moves up to my neck, and then she grips it. Her grip continues to get tighter as she's massaging, and I'm like, "Yo!" I tell her in Chinese, "I'm like, yo, loosen your grip." And she's like, "I could, I could actually feel her body tensing up because she's like." Ding 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 ding. This is the moment she realized she done effed up. She got the wrong one. When this case, the right one, because two can play that game. Today I'm gonna make cock. In other words, I'm gonna make shit today. And she's like, "Oh, you can speak Chinese." I'm like, "Very well, actually." And she says, "Oh, okay. I'm sorry." And then she loosens her grip, and she massages me. Come, Nandi. 
in a very soothing manner yet again she massages me she goes down to my back she's caressing me ever so smoothly ever so gently i'm enjoying this and i'm thinking to myself ha gotcha you know you'd have messed up right congratulations you've played yourself i don't want peace I want problems always she keeps massaging me the best way she can she's super cautious now super gentle now she's trying to have a conversation with me i'm like nope nope he's all relaxed alana i'm here to get rid of the sharp back pain that i've been struggling with i'm not here to have another conversation not to be rude but please just do your job right respectfully i'm not trying to be rude or anything but i see what she's trying to do don't forget that so now she's trying to see just how much chinese i know or understand so that as i'm not trying to be rude here i'm here to relax and you're supposed to massage me so do your job and i've caught you red-handed so do your job because i could cause a scene right now manji and blow everything out of proportion and burn this mfr down so do your job every time i see i'm like ah timpadong timpadong she's like how i was if and i'm like ah here and there and she's like, oh, it and then we are chabul with gangan, says gangan. I'm like, hey, give me a little of gangas. Yes, gangas. Sharp. She continues. I'm massaging a man. And then she gets to the problematic area. Yo, geez, it was a ooh. A shade tamp. We need to Get her ease up. When's in John, man? I saw, sorry, sorry, saying coffee. We said coffee. When it's a kind of like a good look, woody. Sharp. Uyazi. Got a gas. You know, and usan stress man, you at the sagwas no one's seven zwaki gashi because she knows she's been caught, so she's freaking out. She's not doing her job properly because she's overthinking now. She's trying to figure out how am I gonna fix this, but also how am I gonna continue to scam her without her knowing that I'm scamming her? Has she actually figured out that my boss and I are scamming her? What is she gonna do about it? She probably doesn't know. She's I could tell, Wuti, she's no longer here, you know? So we are beta, man. You say I I'm like, please be gentle. I know Wuti goes about plum. I'm aware of the fact that this is a very problematic area. It's already painful, so it's bound to get worse. But I can tell that you're not here and you're not focusing. Please focus. I'm paying. Double at that. <gasps> She realizes that I know. And she's like, what do you mean you're paying double? I'm like, exactly that. I know. Trust me. I know. We're speaking Chinese. So I say, with that said, since you're charging me double, be sure to make this a full body massage. And she says, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Because there's no arguing. There's no going back and forth about it. She knows she's been caught she has to do the right thing or she loses everything yes she has her own boss but bear in mind that both her and her boss work under the resort they work for the resort so they need to follow the rules and regulations of the resort otherwise they both get fired you feel me so this turns into a full body massage. She then kneels on the back of my thighs and it felt so good. I had never experienced that feeling. And she was moving her knees in a circular motion. It felt amazing. And in most cases, when you're experiencing something for the very first time, you just go with the flow. When I look back on that session, I realize that a lot of creepy things happened and i just let them slide because i was like this is probably how a full body massage is done because remember i had only done like a back massage a foot massage not everything you know what i mean so i was like okay this is probably how they do their job and who am i to tell a person how to do their job this isn't my forte she goes down she does my legs she does my feet she does my thighs and young kind or come now she does every part of my body and then she does my butt lost i love 
booty rubs. I thoroughly enjoy booty rubs, right? So she gets there and she rubs my booty ever so perfectly, ever so gently, and I'm enjoying it, right? So she starts sticking her index finger in my mtsinzila. Aklishe umunu mtsinzile, and she sticks her finger in my butt crack, and I'm like, Yeah, turns up because what is going on? Is this still part of the massage? Is this even allowed? Is this even legal? What is cooking oil, right? So she shoves it down. You know, as I eat and I'm like, <gasps> and she's like, no, 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 relax. She tells me to relax and I try to, but I'm like, almost. You know what I mean? So I could no moon, right? Up and down, up and down. But no magunga gangeni shik pagati because she's still kind of going up and down the crack of the butt, right? Ugvulega or the opening of the butt, not the anus, but the butt, right? Wesha wen nyu gangu moon we emselen wezing and it felt wrong. I felt violated. Little did I know that more was to come. While she's busy rubbing her finger up and down my butt opening, Giz was seguti shi. I jump up and I'm like, what is going on? And she's like, relax, this is a full body massage. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. This that's blah. That's that's blah right there. And I'm like, it's blah, it's njena. All right, so I try to relax, I calm down, all right? And she continues. So palati manju moon ati tu. I'm like, ah ah, ah ah, no, this is weird. This is on some other level. Like, no, what is happening? At this point, I'm not even speaking up. It's my brain that's talking to me. It's every part of my being that's like, Zanentle, what have you gotten yourself into? Do I jump up and leave? But I still need to pay. So then I'd be causing a scene. And angzwani ne scene mini lazo njangi fun. Anga funa me sa buga into envy. Manzo mbuga yen zan show gutin buga into envy. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't want to cause a scene. So what do I do? Do I just let everything slide and just let her do her job, pay her, and just get out of here and never do this ever again? Or do I jump up and veling hamming yum reporter veling or wuti uis kebeng? Let me just jump up, gi hamming yum tre bugusi velelumunt uyam zota. But no. What if this is part of the healing process? What if this is gonna help heal my sharp back pains? She knows better than I do. This is her job. Who am I to question her? But I'm uncomfortable. What do I do? Zanetle, relax. This is me going back and forth in my mind, right? So I relax. But pagati pagati. So I'm like, no, let me give her a pass. Let me let this one slide as well until ati fuku. Ati fuku. Wafaga i fist yake yonke. Guys, please understand. Uguti agai fagi pagati pagati. Imagine izim, right? Imagine izim says betuliwe and then umuntu ati up and down gemundi or with your fist. Somebody opening your butt and then going up and down with their fist. Agafagile pagati pagati. But can you imagine how uncomfortable that is if you're not used to it? So up and down, up and down, up and down with her fist. Up and down, up and down with her fist. And I'm like, what is happening? It kind of feels good, but it also feels bad and wrong and illegal. And I feel like I'm being violated. Am I being violated? Oh my God. Gosh, it was just mind-blowing. Not in the best way, because there's so many things were
were going on in my head. And as soon as she was done with that, kona lainga ngai tola kona sentenza na minga izinga ngai minga izinga zaka ina zati mpi wangati pola lompoko. And she was like, okay, because she felt it was Yazin. This person is now uncomfortable. And keep it in the Indiami as in when Zake apumule akuleg. So she eventually removed her fist from my butt, and then she gave me the final booty rub, which felt really good. Even though I've never seen it, my mom always says So it was like ikundane that had just bitten my butt and is now policering, trying to heal my butt, trying to soothe me and bring back that sense of comfort and relaxation because i felt good during that final booty rub and then i paid her i remember just looking her in the eye because i was trying to figure out am i being punished for catching her in the act or is this part of the massage you know and my eyes were asking that question when i was looking at her and i remember she just smirked and she said thank you bye and i was like bye i know what you did i still could report you it kind of felt good but i still feel violated so what do i do boys and girls ladies and gentlemen that was the best slash the worst full body massage experience of all time for me now hit me up in the comment section down below if you've ever experienced something like this or something similar to this. Please share your story. How did you react? How did you address it? Did you even address it? If you've never experienced something like this, what would you do if you were to experience it? Let's talk about it. Astante.